How's it going, everyone? You got Josh Suture here from Train Heroic. I'm really excited to walk you through how to get the most out of your Train Heroic account. And so before we jump into some of the technical how-tos, I want to first just level set and talk a little bit about some of our background. If many of you have not heard about Train Heroic, why we exist, why we show up every day to do our jobs is to help empower coaches and athletes to be their best. And so we do that through a process called deliberate practice, which you're seeing here on the right-hand side, where we set goals, allow expert instruction, that's you guys, the coaching staff, structure training, right? That's sending and delivering training plans, give athletes and coaches immediate feedback so we can kind of reset and stay on that, stay on that loop. And so just looking at the product and the company, really we have two priorities. At the end of the day, we want to help you coach more athletes better. Everything that we build, every product that we create, every feature that we implement into the product needs to help you coach more athletes better. And at the same time, it needs to make the journey the reward for the athletes. So what we know is the athletes that stick around the longest, I'm sure you can relate to these athletes in your facility that show up time and again month over month, year over year, they're the ones that make the most progress that eventually and uh, ultimately achieve their goals, right? And so we feel it's our mission to make that journey of their training the reward for athletes. So again, everything that we build is going to really look at these two priorities very tightly. And if it doesn't fit those two priorities, it's it's something that we'll, as a team, really carefully and closely look at and consider not doing altogether. And so a couple principles, we've been doing this since 2011, right? And just like any business like yours, this is all about people. And so I encourage you to reach out, ask questions. We're really serious about service. You know, I mentioned, hey, we've got a couple of priorities. We're here to solve problems, not to build stuff. And so technology ultimately is how we deliver what we're delivering, but it's a, just a necessary evil, a means to an end. And we'll continuously listen to the data. That's you, right? Listening to our coaches and understanding what they need and what they're seeing so that we can invest for the long term and make small increments to get better. Uh, each and every day. So you'll see that in the product evolve really in front of your eyes. I mentioned we were founded in 2011 is when we started the company officially in 2012 is when we kicked off operations. There's 22 of us um, full time here in Denver, Colorado. We're lucky enough to serve over 1700 organizations. I threw some logos up on a screen just not to not to boast about who we're able to serve, but just to kind of speak to the breadth and difference of certain customers um, versus others. And the reason I bring that up is there are so many unique needs of our coaches, and I'm confident that whatever it is specifically that you guys might need in your day-to-day, -day, um, that's either something that we're currently serving that we'd like to coach you up on how to accomplish or something that many of our coaches could benefit from. And so uh, anyways, this will be a dialogue. We'll keep the dialogue and communication open um, and we're just stoked to, to have the chance to work with each of you. So as we get into today, I just want to set some expectations on implementation. So I'm going to make this specific session something that's quick, uh, that's actionable. So you feel dangerous and logging into your account and getting started. And then we'll talk through implementation. We're going to break down implementation into a couple phases. But ultimately, technology is just a tool. Okay, and so I point that out because it really depends on how you use that tool as to how much utility you'll get from that tool. At the end of the day, we want to be really a connected solution for you. So Parisi at the HQ level will publish, we call it expert programming, right? So they're publishing programming that gets delivered to each of your coaches, yourself, all the coaches on staff. You're then able to deliver that to your athletes. Eventually, athletes will log their training results online or offline. You'll be able to get immediate feedback and keep coaching using better insights or having more insights into how the athletes are doing. Initially in phase one, we're gonna get here, where a coach is receiving the training any, on any device anywhere so that you can coach your athletes better. Okay, and so again, I mentioned a phased approach. Phase one is what we'll cover today, and that's just the quick setup and delivery of programming from the HQ level down. Okay, so we're gonna get programming into the hands of their athletes. Phase two, once you've completed phase one, is to completely customize that as you need to. And that might be through personal training clients, it might be through team training, it might simply be adjusting the schedule that Parisi's laid out, or it might be adjusting the actual training sessions. That's phase two, and today we'll cover phase one and really kick this thing off and launch you guys forward. So in phase one, we talk about things in terms of jobs to be done. And so here's the jobs that we wanna help you guys solve for. Okay, so as a coach, I wanna view each class's training session so my staff and I have a clear and effective plan for our athletes, right? 
And what we'll go through today is how to set up your Parisi classes and how to deliver the programming in real time to your staff. And so without further ado, I'm gonna jump into an actual Train Heroic account. And as we do that, and even before we do that, I wanna kind of talk to some of the benefits, right? So we mentioned, hey, here's the things that we're gonna do. Well, why do we wanna do that, right? We're gonna allow you to set up your class schedule in minutes. You'll save time programming, and you're able to leverage Parisi's expertise. Okay, you'll be able to deliver that expertise, that programming anytime and anywhere. So it happens to be in an app, whether you're on an Android or an iPhone, in a coach-friendly, rich instruction format with videos and points of performance. Okay, so at the end of phase one, I'm actually gonna have each of you join as an assistant coach using just a demo login, and you'll be able to toggle through the class schedule on and off. So here we go, we're gonna jump into an account and get after it. So when you log into your account, it's gonna look a lot like this. Okay, now on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a few options, and the first option you'll see is this option called Teams. Ultimately in phase one, teams are classes. You're gonna set up a list of all the classes that you could instruct in any given day, in any given week, in any given month at the facility. So just as a starting point, I set up Denver Jumpstart and Denver Total Conditioning, right? I might later on in the day have a total performance class that I'm running, right? So what you wanna do is really create a fully exhaustive list of any class that you can run at the facility. And so to do that, in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna hit Create New, okay? So maybe we have a total performance class. This is gonna be called Denver TP. Now, each class that you create will have a specific access code. This is not something that you'll give out to any of your athletes initially. And when you end up in phase two, you'll start to give out these codes. The codes actually give athletes direct access to a specific team. And there's reasons for that. You'll want them to have the programming in phase one, we're simply delivering this to our coaching staff. So we do require you to create an access code. You won't give it out though. Your coaching staff will automatically have access to everything you create. So we're gonna create Denver Total Performance and I'm gonna hit Create Team. And so again, what we're doing really is we're creating these classes. We're gonna call the classes Teams in phase one. And you'll see that each team has a blank calendar. Okay, in the top right hand corner to set up your class, you're going to click on this plus icon where you can add something from your library. And you're going to see all the options of programming that Parisi set up. Okay, so we're going to actually set up a TP change of direction class. Okay, this is a class that we can run at the facility and therefore I'm going to set it up. Now this is a one time setup. I never have to do this again and automatically this calendar is going to update as Parisi at the HQ level updates the programming, okay? And so if I go back to teams, what I'll notice is now I have three different teams set up. Again, these teams represent classes, right? So we've got uh, total performance, we've got total conditioning, we've got jumpstart. I might even rename this total performance to be called change of direction, okay? And so if my coaches are at the facility now, regardless of which class they're coaching, and I can repeat this as many times as I need to, they'll be able to see the programming for any of those classes. So I wanna walk through exactly what that looks like and how they'll be able to do that. All right, so what you'll see on the screen now is just me holding my phone in my hand, okay? And so I've downloaded the app and that's what you're seeing here in the top left. So everybody can download the app for free and next steps are for your coaching staff and for yourself to go download the app, okay? Now, each coach will have their own login, but for the sake of this exercise, I actually created the login just to sample what this will look and feel like. So we've set up our Denver Jumpstart, our Denver Total Performance, and our Denver Total Conditioning. Now remember how we did that, right? We had to create the team. We had to go in the top right-hand corner and actually give that team a specific calendar. I never have to do that again. That's now gonna update automatically. And for the staff, they'll simply click on the app once they've downloaded it. They're gonna log in, okay? They won't create an account because we'll have an account set up for each. And you're gonna type in Parisi Coach. Now, that'll be your username, and your password just for this exercise. Okay, you'll each have your own going forward. But I'm gonna click log in. And so what you're gonna find now is you'll see a schedule of any day's programming. Okay, so for example, today, Wednesday, I'm gonna see, hey, we can run a jumpstart class today, or we can run a total performance class today. And Parisi has actually set up a schedule. Generally, it's three or two days a week for each types of type of class. Don't get hung up on that, okay? In the top right-hand corner, if you click on training, you're able to turn off or on 
any of the programs that could be run, right? So if we're just running Jumpstart, hey, I'm only coaching Jumpstart right now, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off the total conditioning, I'm gonna toggle off total performance, and what I'll notice up top is I've got three days this week of Jumpstart programming. So I can go to day one by clicking on the 17th, I can go to day two by clicking on the 19th, and day three by clicking on the 21st. Now, if somebody is showing up for the first time this week, and even if it's Tuesday or Thursday, where there might not be any specific programming set up on the calendar, I can go to the 17th just by tapping on it, right? If I have an athlete on on Friday who's shown up for Monday and Wednesday, sure, I'm doing Friday session. But if they haven't shown up at all this week, maybe I'm clicking on Monday session and doing day one. So don't get caught up too much on where these programs or where the programming actually falls on your calendar. Now, as you finish the Jumpstart program, you might go up to training as a coach and say, you know what, next we've got a total conditioning class in here. I'd click total conditioning, and now that schedule is going to show up. So here's the, the training session for total conditioning, right? And as you go through this as a coach, you can see the summary of what you're supposed to do. And importantly, you can actually click into the training. So I'm going to tap into the training, and I can see how far along that session we are. Importantly, I can see the specific sets and reps and video instruction for anything that we have here. Okay, so if I'm a young coach and I don't know what a lower body jack is, I can see that, right, just by clicking on the video. And then I'm just gonna scan with my finger from right to left to go from one section. You'll notice this up top slide from one section to the next. So really two steps in phase one. Step one is gonna be to go and create in the top right hand corner all of your classes you'll do that as the head coach okay now once those classes are set up any member of your staff will have login information and it's not necessarily what we went over today Parisi coach that's just for the sake of this kind of demonstration I'd really like you guys to go check that out so you're comfortable but ultimately once you set up that class as a coach you'll simply log in and you'll have access to everything that you're seeing here and again this is phase one phase two is going to be much more involved in which we'll be able to create real team training you'll be able to click on athletes and adjust an athlete's programming or even design your own programming if you're not simply editing the programming that you're getting from parisi so that's phase one once you get through phase one we'll roll through phase two i hope this was informative hope it was helpful you'll see in the email that we've sent there's a link to schedule more time with us to get your specific questions answered we're really excited to have the opportunity to work with you guys and we'll talk with you soon thanks